The Art of Narcissistic Infidelity Narcissist Strategies for Hiding Affairs Successfully Have you ever wondered how narcissists are able to juggle multiple affairs and keep their lives so straight? It can be baffling to think about how someone could be so manipulative and dishonest in relationships. As the betrayed partner, you may be curious about what's really going on behind the scenes with narcissism and cheating behaviors. In this video, I'm going to explain the mental and emotional mechanisms that allow narcissists to hide affairs from their partners. I'll outline the key ways they are able to compartmentalize relationships and keep their lies straight. Drawing from my counseling experience with countless clients who have shared their stories, I'll provide real-world examples to illustrate these toxic behaviors. My goal is to give you clarity and closure by revealing what's happening behind the mask of the cheating narcissist. This understanding can help free you from the confusion and self-blame that narcissistic betrayal often causes. If you are watching this video, it likely means you have a narcissist in your life and have doubts about their honesty or fidelity. I would recommend first watching my video Narcissism and Infidelity Compulsions. Six signs a narcissist or toxic person is cheating what to do. You can find the link in the description below. That video will help you identify if cheating behaviors are present in your relationship. Once you've watched that video, come back to this one to dive deeper into understanding the warped psychology that enables narcissists to betray and hide affairs. Now, let's explore how narcissists are able to justify affairs to themselves. How Narcissists Justify Affairs to Themselves Narcissists feel entitled to have affairs because of their inflated sense of self. Their extreme arrogance leads them to believe they should be able to have whatever they want in relationships. They see themselves as superior beings who are above the rules and norms that govern everyone else. This grandiose entitlement is coupled with a lack of empathy. Narcissists simply don't care how their actions might hurt their partner. They are completely self-absorbed and oblivious to the pain they cause others. As long as their needs are being met, nothing else matters. Narcissists also tend to have underdeveloped moral reasoning. They are stuck in an egocentric mindset where their desires trump ethical concerns. This allows them to rationalize and justify cheating through twisted logic like, I deserve to have my needs met. My partner should be grateful I stay with them at all. It's just sex. It doesn't mean anything. No one will find out, so no one gets hurt. With this immature reasoning, narcissists give themselves permission to pursue affairs without guilt or remorse. They feel entitled to take whatever they want from others to boost their own ego. Compartmentalization, how narcissists keep relationships separate. One of the main ways narcissists juggle multiple relationships is through compartmentalization. This means mentally separating people into distinct boxes or categories. For example, a narcissistic husband can have an ideal family life box where he plays the role of perfect dad and husband. He then also maintains a secret affair box where he engages with his mistress. In his mind, these boxes never intersect or affect each other. Narcissists are able to shut people in and out of these mental compartments with no empathy or guilt. When with their spouse, the affair partner doesn't even exist. When with the affair partner, the spouse never crosses their mind. This allows them to show up as completely different people in the two relationships. With their spouse, they may be cold, critical, and indifferent. With the affair partner, they are charming, passionate, and fully present. I compartmentalized my wife into a roommate box where I was dismissive of her emotional needs. My mistress was in an exciting affair box where I could escape reality and feel admired. By separating them, I avoided guilt while getting my selfish needs met in both boxes. Narcissists can easily lie and keep track of lies. Narcissists are highly skilled at lying, deceiving, and keeping their stories straight. Their lack of empathy enables them to lie seamlessly without guilt. So how do they keep all their stories straight? Here are some of their tactics. They tell half-truths that are technically accurate but misleading. This gives them plausible deniability if caught. They label lies as white lies that supposedly don't hurt anyone. This justifies lies in their mind. They use vague language when talking about plans so there are less details to track. They quickly change subjects if pressed for more specifics to avoid lying directly. They project an air of certainty even when lying to sound more credible. They avoid referring to anyone by name unless absolutely necessary. 
less names mentioned means less chance of mix-ups. They keep different lies totally separate by only telling person about affair X and person B about affair Y. They make heavy use of excuses like working late, going out with friends, or needing alone time to cover anything. With practice, narcissists can adeptly keep track of different lies told to different people. Their lack of empathy allows them to avoid confusing or mixing up stories since they don't feel guilty. Gaslighting the Narcissist's Craft Another key ploy narcissists use to get away with affairs is gaslighting. This is a form of emotional manipulation meant to distort someone's sense of reality. By constantly questioning your memory and perceptions, the narcissist plants seeds of self-doubt and confusion. This gradually trains you to distrust your own instincts and observations. Here are some examples of what gaslighting sounds like when a narcissist is covering up an affair. Are you sure she was flirting with me? You must have misunderstood. I already told you I was working late that night. You never listen. That lipstick on my collar must have gotten there when I hugged my coworker. Why are you imagining things? I can't believe you think I'm cheating again. After everything we've been through, I would never do that. This mental fog of gaslighting serves two purposes for the narcissist. First, it gets you to doubt your own perception of reality so you are less likely to uncover their lies. Second, if you do find real proof, they can claim you were paranoid and seeing things all along. In this way, gaslighting is an extremely effective tactic narcissists rely on to hide their affairs and maintain the upper hand in the relationship. Triangulation keeps the focus off the affairs. Another diversion tactic narcissists use is triangulation. This means introducing a third party into the relationship dynamic to stir up drama. The narcissist uses this manufactured drama to keep the focus off their own shady behavior. For example, say a narcissistic wife is having an affair with a coworker. When she comes home, she may pick a fight with her husband about his parenting style, his annoying habits, his commitment to the family, or anything else. This puts the husband on the defensive, so he has to spend his energy explaining himself and trying to be better. Meanwhile, the wife's affair stays hidden in the background. Other times, a narcissist will excessively praise someone close to their partner. They will constantly talk about how amazing, attractive, or successful this other person is. The goal is to provoke jealousy in their partner as a distraction from the real affair happening secretly. In both cases, the narcissist effectively uses triangulation to cover up their tracks. By keeping their partner's focus on other conflicts and threats, they reduce the risk of being caught cheating. Their charm keeps partners hooked. Despite all the manipulation, many partners stay hooked on their narcissist despite the cheating and suffering. This is because narcissists can be incredibly charming, charismatic, and seductive when they want to be. When wooing a new affair partner, they act completely infatuated, loving, and committed. They make their partner feel like the most special person in the world through constant compliments, expensive gifts, and romantic gestures. This idealization phase creates an almost addictive high for the new partner. They crave the praise and passion the narcissist showers on them. Even when the narcissist begins periodically devaluing them later on, they hold on to hope that the idealization phase will return. Meanwhile, the narcissist has the partner right where they want them hopelessly wrapped around their finger. The partner is so focused on reclaiming the narcissist's love and validation, they miss red flags about the narcissist's true character. Narcissists are also masters at doling out intermittent reinforcement. After episodes of ignoring their partner or angrily devaluing them, they will turn on the charm and act like the most loving, attentive partner ever. It's easy to see how this hot and cold strategy keeps partners addictively bonded to narcissists. The unpredictability and drama keeps them on their toes, trying endlessly to regain the narcissist's favor. In this way, even when their deceitful nature is exposed, Narcissists are skilled at smoothing things over through charm, seduction, and empty promises. Partners hold on to hope that each time really will be different. The path forward after narcissistic betrayal. Discovering a partner's infidelity is always painful, but learning your partner is a narcissist who views you as a pawn to exploit can be utterly devastating. It shakes your sense of reality, security, and self-worth to their core. The good news is recovery is absolutely possible with the right support and mindset shifts. Here are some tips to start regaining your sense of self. 
Seek counseling to process the trauma and begin rebuilding your self-esteem. A professional therapist can help you work through the grief and start establishing healthy boundaries. Educate yourself about narcissistic abuse so you fully understand the manipulative tactics used against you. Knowing how the narcissistic mind works removes the self-blame and confusion. Reconnect with activities and people that bring you joy. Pour your energy into pursuing your passions and spending time with trusted friends who lift you up. Be extremely gentle with yourself during this recovery period. Expect setbacks and emotional swings. Healing from narcissistic abuse requires patience and self-compassion. Establish firm boundaries and cut contact if possible. Interacting with the narcissist keeps you trapped in the cycle of abuse and prevents real healing. Limit contact to only essential communications. Join a support group to share your story and find comfort among others who understand. You are not alone in this experience. Consider working with a life coach to rediscover your self-worth and create a vision for your new life chapter. A coach can help you gain strength, confidence, and clarity. Give yourself time and space to grieve the fantasy relationship you thought you had. The relationship was not real, but your feelings were. Fully process the loss before moving forward. Reframe this experience as an opportunity to learn, grow, and shift into an even better version of yourself. You now have deep wisdom about red flags to avoid in future relationships. The betrayal of a narcissist is painful, but it does not have to ruin you. With patience, compassion, and the right support, you can regain your inner power and thrive again. This hardship can be the start of creating authentic, healthy relationships and a life aligned with your true needs and values. I hope you found some support and validation in the shared experiences here and gained insight into recovering from narcissistic infidelity. Please comment with your story to help others heal. If you still struggle with no contact, don't hesitate to reach out for coaching. I want to continue this conversation to bring narcissistic abuse out of the shadows. Your financial contributions through donations or patronage make it possible for me to create empowering resources to spread awareness and amplify survivor stories. Don't forget to subscribe and press thanks if these videos have eased your isolation and pain. Your generosity allows me to be here together so we can help victims rediscover their wings after narcissistic abuse clipped them for too long. If you believe you need to urgently speak with a counselor to get started on recovering from infidelity, you can send me a message on WhatsApp and I will schedule an initial session within 24 hours. I believe in you and this community's resilience. Together we can heal and thrive again after narcissistic betrayal.